Hi guys, I'm going to be trying out the new Nails Ink London Paint Can and this is basically nail polish in a can and I'm going to be using the West End one which is a kind of like an orangey red so it's kind of like a cherry red so I had to use this one so it was sharp quite a bit. There is a lot of mixed reviews online about this product because a lot of people were saying that it doesn't work, a lot of people were saying it is absolute poop and a lot of people are saying that it is really good. So I'm going to give this a go because there is a lot of mixed reviews and I thought I wanted to try it out for myself. So today I'm just going to jump right in and use this paint can. So let's get started. It says you must use a base coat. I've seen a lot of people online not using a base coat and I'm thinking do you actually need to use a base coat that is from Nails Inc or if you actually need to use a base coat that is from another company. So I actually have two base coats here. A Nails Inc polish. This one by OPI which is the natural nail base coat so I'm going to give this one a go this one I think is probably a little bit thinner but we're going to give it a go and see what works better so apologies to my nails guys I haven't really been looking after them that well but I've literally just washed my hands just to make sure there wasn't any oil on them so first I'm going to be applying this nails ink polish on my pinky finger and my ring finger going to be using the natural nail base coat by OPI on the other three nails on my hand now I just gotta wait for that to dry. Shake it up, shake it up. Shake it, shake it, need a look. May have applied these two on a little bit too thick, but we're just gonna give it a go. Alrighty, I'm actually quite nervous for this. I don't know why, but I'm gonna give this a go. All right, here we go then, guys. 10 to 15 centimeters away, so that's probably about where I am now. Maybe a little bit closer. Oh, it feels horrible, it's so cold. Oh my God, it looks like someone killed my hand. Oh my god, it's actually freezing. Oh, so cold. Let's do my thumb. Okay, so the verdict right now is that my nails are very patchy and it looks absolutely disgusting. Um, I'm not impressed with this top coat. Well, with this first coat. I'm actually going to try it a second time in a minute when it dries. I'm actually not liking this colour too much. I was actually thinking it was going to be more opaque, but apparently not. It's okay. It's quite nice, but it's very messy. and I'm not too keen on how messy it is. All right, so here we go, guys. This is about after two minutes of drying, and I'm just going to give this another go and see if it makes it a bit more opaque. Okay, so this is look looking definitely better. I think you definitely have to apply two coats. Allow to dry for a few minutes. So I'm just gonna wait a few minutes and then I'll come back to you. Alrighty, Roo, so now it's all dry. I'm just going to apply a top coat. And for today's top coat, I'm going to be using the one by Sesh Feet. Now I'm just gonna wait for that to dry for a little bit and then I'll come back to you again. Do, 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 do. Wait for my nails to dry, do, 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 do. Okay, so now I'm just going to go to the bathroom and wash this off as it says on the back of the pan. It says to wash off with warm soapy water and then I'll come back and show you guys what the result is. Okay, you guys, so I'm back from washing my hands and this is actually really horrible. The process is very uncomfortable to take off. The polish still isn't off. It's still like all over my nails and kind of all around the edge on my skin and it's just really uncomfortable to scrub your nails until the polish comes off and um, so overall I probably would not recommend this polish it isn't the greatest thing the only positive I can probably say about it is the color it's really pretty but it's so sheer it's really patchy and you can see clear areas where it hasn't the polish hasn't attached to the nail properly I actually love applying this but I think at the end of the day if you want a polished manicure then I think you'll probably need to go somewhere else and actually apply some proper nail polish I actually really enjoyed making this video and if you guys want me to try out any other nail polish products then please comment down below what you want and um yeah comment down below what you thought of this video so yeah i really hope you enjoyed this video guys and i'll see you all in my next video bye